The Verder Bremen right back Mitchell Weiser is not a happy man, not a happy German. Oh wait, he's not German anymore. He's woken up. Was he 29, 13? So actually, I'm Algerian now. What is going on with Weiser and Algeria? It seems a little bit like he started to pick a war with Belmadi, and that is a war that no one ever wins. It always ends up Belmadi one opponent nil. If you don't know about the story, a few months ago, the Verder Bremen right back. Mitchell Weiser came out and said he wanted to represent Algeria at international level because he's got an Algerian mother. And we've seen many players do this recently with one Algerian parent, the likes of Kevin van den Kerkhoff, who plays in the same position, as does Mehdi Lloris. So it's nothing untoward or unusual. I think the problem me and many Algerians seem to be having is the way Weiser has gone about this, where in his recent interview with Build, the German newspaper, he's literally said... I'm wholeheartedly committed to playing for Algeria. I want to play for them in a big tournament. That's great. But then he went on to say, but the door to Germany is closed. I'm essentially not good enough to play for them. So he's brutally honest, which some would commend him for. Bold, saying, look, the Germans are never going to pick me. I want to play for Algeria now. I want to represent them. So Mitchell Weiser is essentially available for selection for the Algerian national team. And what he's come out basically saying is that he's not in the squad because Blamadi doesn't want him. This is a very, very difficult situation. I mean, I've spoken very highly. I'm a big advocate of these binationals coming into the team, especially because they're good quality players that make the team better. But with Weiser, he's a right back. He's an attacking right back. This is the question you have to ask yourself. You've got Yusuf Atal there. You've now got Van den Kerkhoff there. You've got Mehdi Lloris that can play there. There are three Algeria internationals that have been part of the setup for a few months. To then bin one of them off to get Visor in just a few months before the tournament and he's played no minutes of the qualification campaign. It's very, very harsh, very harsh. And is Visor essentially better than Yusuf Artan who starts when to fit? No. I think the conversation happens if there's a serious injury to Yusuf Artan, which is not unusual, and let's say that keeps him out of the AFCON, then you start having the Mitchell Visor conversation. But I think if Artal is fit and fresh, you can't just drop him for Visor who's woken up one day and said, actually, I don't like Hitler, I, I like Tabun. It, it's, just, it's just not ideal. So I think there's scope there with the Artal injury potential. I mean, you look at the AFCON we won, you had Mehdi Safan playing, which is not great, but got the job done. The World Cup games, the Cameroon games in particular, you had Benny Arda playing, again, not great, didn't get the job done. And now you've got the likes of Artal at went fit, you've got, like I said, Guitor, and you've got Lloris, and now Vias into the fold. Certainly, if there was another injury crisis there, I would say get Weiser in. But you've got to remember, he's a German youth international. When Algeria played Germany in the World Cup in 2014, and he went all the way to extra time, he was a German youth international, whatever, under 20, under 21. He was rooting for the bloody Germans to win. And now, suddenly, he's Algeria till he dies and bleeding green, white and red. It just seems a bit dodgy, the way he's gone about it. Look how other players have come into the fold. Delors, bang, I want to play. Awa, I'm sorry for playing for France. Weiser, I'm not good enough for Germany. Algeria's my number two. We are no one's second option. We were recently number one in Africa, and we want to be the number one, Mr. Weiser. So if you want to get this team, no matter how many assists you get in the Bundesliga week in, week out, you've got to earn the shirt. You've got to earn the shirt, and you've got to respect the shirt. You cannot just waltz in, son, because you're playing in Germany. So as much as I'd love Weiser to get in, you don't start picking on the Faf. You don't start picking on Belmadi. You pull your socks up, and you get in a team on merit. Not because you just happen to play for the German youth. So... I'm all for Visor being available and into the national pool of selection. We could call on him if there's a crisis to Artal. Let's say Artal and Larissa are out. You're going to need Visor. And that's when Algeria needs Visor more than Visor needs Algeria. But right now, it's the other way around because Visor needs Algeria right now more than Algeria needs him. So it'll be an interesting development. And going forwards, let's see what happens in this next squad. He's publicly come out and said, I want to play for Algeria. It's down to technical and administrative reasons why I've not been selected. Because let's be fair to the guy, a few months ago he came out and said, I want to play for the Desert Foxes, but he's just not been selected in a squad. So, who's in the wrong? Let's find out. Let me know your thoughts on this Visor situation in the comments down below. Usually I am very keen to get these binationals in, but the way he's, I don't like the way he's gone about it. Of course, he can obviously apologise and whatever, and let's see what happens going forward. But would you take him? in the next squad or to the AFCON. Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. I'll see you next time.